You know, the Green Bay Botanical Garden hosts 6,000 kids wow. a year through the school and outre outreach groups they have. And, you know, that's no small task for a nonprofit. So now you can help ensure that these programs continue through the Taste Bud fundraiser. Jordan is sipping on some of the details live at the garden. That's right. I'm learning something here today, and I was a little bit bummed about the rain out here early this morning, but what a better place, or can you mention a better place to, to have rain at a national public garden like this? I mean, it's gorgeous, and these flowers need the water, so keep it coming, right? All right, here's Eileen, and she's here to talk about that fundraiser. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good, Jordan. Thanks for coming out today. Absolutely, and pleasure to be here. Um, let's let's talk about this fundraiser a little bit. Uh, when is it, first of all? Yes, next week, Thursday, May 16th, from 5 to 8 p.m. here at Green Bay Botanical Garden is our annual fundraising event, Taste Bud. Annual. All right. So it's been going on for a while. You know, if people come out here for this, what exactly do they get to see? Yeah, they get to stroll the 3,000, um, 300,000 spring blooms that we wow. have throughout the garden, sip botanical cocktails, savor delicious culinary delights, and bid on some great auction, silent auction items. Okay, and we have some of those here, and it's actually right next to you. I mean, this is just gorgeous. Like, yes, this is a is field this? of flowers donated by Hidden Hollow Garden Art. So this is one of the silent auction items that are going to be featured, as well as we have some spring blooming containers, hanging baskets, yeah. restaurant packages. There's something for everyone with the silent auction. Now, Rosie, can you turn around and get that other one back there? Let's. Why don't we talk about that one too? Yes, that is a bonsai tree that was designed by David Windy, and he is featuring that as well here at the silent auction and taste bud next week Thursday. All right, so cool. All right, let, you said the word cocktail before. My ears, you know, perked up a little bit. What's going on here? We have something in front of us. Yeah, so at Taste Bud, we're going to be featuring a DIY botanical station, so All guests right. can make their own cocktails and their own refreshing beverages. Okay, so what are we doing first? Yes. Uh, we're doing the simple sugar first, right? Yes. Or a simple syrup. Simple syrup, yep. yep. So guests can make their own simple syrup by adding the same amount of water, so one cup of water to one cup sugar, and then they just boil the sugar down, and then they actually cut their herbs. Look at this. And put them in. All right, so you're using what there? Lavender? That is lavender. Yep, okay. so I'll be making a lavender simple syrup. Right. So once they boil the sugar and the water down, they add their herbs, let it sit for a minute off to the side, and then they have their simple syrup. Look at this. Okay. So we have a lavender simple syrup. So you add that to your drink, do about three, four swirls, depending on how strong the flavor you want. Sure, sure. Add your citrus. So before the break, we were muddling this a little bit earlier. So now you're you're obviously doing it now. This is the real life. Yep. Okay. And so we're gonna grab our citrus, which we're gonna use lemons today. And we're gonna muddle that in with the lavender simple syrup. Love that. All and right. then we're gonna add fresh squeezed lemonade. Okay. Into our glass here. And then you also can freeze herbs and edible pansies and ice cubes and I use think. them in your cocktails or summer refreshers. Yeah, so you were talking, you know, once the once the uh, herbs actually hit the hit the whatever you put in there, I mean, it really starts to explode in flavor, right? Yep. So one of the tips that I have is when you have an herb and you're going to be using it in either cooking or either in a drink, yeah. you want to smack the herb and it releases the flavor yeah. a little more. Slap it a little bit, right? And then put it in your drink or add it to your ice cream or your brownie. Oh, so I didn't think about that too. Yep. There's a lot of ways to add herbs into the food that you eat. So with this one, you were saying cocktail too. I mean, can you put alcohol with it too and you suggest doing that yep you can make a lavender <laughs> lemonade and add a little vodka into there to have a little extra kicker for your summer refresher all right and that's what you're going to have here with this fundraiser coming yep up? so our diy Aww. botanical station so people can build their own um summer refresher or their herbal cocktail can i can i try it yes all right guys cheers to you guys it may be raining but you know this is making me feel all nice and warm inside i bet <laughs> very good Okay, good Looks job, delicious. Jordan. Yeah, homemade and refreshing. All right, let's